Where's my potatoes? Oh, serve them. Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to be cooking soup in the Ninja. Now I don't know if this is going to work, I've never done soup before in the Ninja, but I'm going to start off by roasting the vegetables um, that in, in the Ninja and then, and then blending it and see how that goes. So these are the ingredients, it's butternut squash um, uh, soup. So I've got 630 grams of butternut squash. And that's what's left over. So there's plenty for, uh, if you wanted to double the proportion, this might be for two people. I'm not 100% sure yet on the quantity because I haven't made it in the Ninja before. So I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to find, you're going to be with me when it all goes wrong or it all goes right. So we, let's, we, we, I don't know. <laughs> so I've got the, the, the butternut squash. I've got the carrots and I've got the onions and I've got some seasoning, um, salt, a bit of garlic puree because I'm lazy. Italian seasoning, I thought it was worth a try. I'm gonna have a tiny smidgen of Coleman's mustard, see how that is. And my brand new pepper mill, thank you, Margaret. This is the best pepper mill I've ever had. I love it. It's nifty, look at this. So it's got this kind of like fantastic little entryway for the peppercorns to go in. Um, and I'll show you how I'm gonna use it with this. It's, it's, it's really brilliant. I'm gonna get the salt, treat myself to the salt one uh when i when i get when i get some money <laughs> um but there, it's brilliant i will put a link in the description to it i think this cost me nine pounds something or other or 12 pound i can't remember but I'll, I'll i'll have a look in the in my on my amazon orders um worth every penny because i've been buying those cheap audi amazon um, peppercorn grinders that you know once it's run out it's run out and they're not great 85p ago I've probably been buying them for the last two years I've probably spent much more than nine or twelve pound however much this was this is great what's it called um oh, I need my glasses where's my glasses oh somewhere here <laughs> uh Kuhn Rickon I don't know how you say it k-u-h-n I don't know how you say that so Look, I'll put it up close. Make your own mind up how you pronounce. But it's brilliant. So we're going to mix the vegetables in a bowl, add the seasoning and the pepper, and I'll we'll, and then we'll be putting it in the ninja on roast. So let's get cra let's crack on. I want to put you in a better position. So butternut squash first. Onions, oh, I've forgotten olive oil. You go generous, you know, you can put as much or as little as you like, really. But seasoning this is the garlic Italian seasoning, just a little bit. Can you see? That's so good. I love it. Thank you, Margaret. Oh, salt. And a splodge of uh, garlic puree. Oh, and the mustard. I must forget that. Oh, sealed. And a little bit of mustard. I don't know whether this will add anything because I've not. I've just got. I've recently bought it because I'm for the cupboard. So I really fancied. Why not? Why not just stick it in? I'm sure it's going to add some flavour. And then I'm going to want to mix all this up. Add a bit more olive oil if you, you know, this is all, nothing's, nothing's 
inaccurate or it's purely taste so you can always add this sort of thing after you know when the, the vegetables are roasted but it would be probably more flavoursome if they roasted all together See how we go i've no idea but i will make a note of the time that it actually cooks in so we once we've cooked it we know how long it takes before we blend um so we've got an accurate time good at the moment we'll start with 30 but we'll keep checking we'll go for another stir it's been i'll show you what's left it's just over halfway 12 minutes to go so we're just gonna all have a look smells beautiful it really does so it, it's um, coming along but i think yeah more roasting more roasting is required right another stir and i think a spritz of oil let's give it a spritz so before i stir seven minutes seven and a half minutes left of the 30 and i think i probably will extend this time but we'll see at the end of 30 minutes what whether we need to add another 10 minutes or so before we blend it see you in a minute it's about to end for the 30 minutes so let's see what it's like it's you see this i don't know if you can see but steam's coming out That's all right. Smells great. I will, um, let's have a look. Let's stir it and see what. I'm gonna add 10 minutes I think so I really want I really want the vegetables to be roasted before I use the blender and add a bit more pepper because it's fun look that's brilliant <laughs> right let's put it back in and add 10 minutes so I'm just gonna reset turn it back on roast I say 10 minutes, but I will keep an eye. We'll, we'll keep an eye. And um, if it say only needs five, then um, then five it is. So we'll just see how it goes. I've got water on standby because I'm going to add a little bit of water before I, I blitz it with the hand blender. So I'll see you in a bit. So the 10 minutes have just ended. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of water to allow it to carry on cooking. So here we go. Oh, it smells so good. So that's 200 ml, but I won't use all of that because I've got really no idea. So I'm only going to put, let's say, 50 ml to start. Let's say 100 ml. Uh, I'll stir it and then I'm going to let it, I'm going to add another 10 minutes before I do any blending because the carrots need a little bit further cooking. Do you know what? I think I can add 200 mil. Let's do it. I mean, the full, the, another, you know, 
let that sit in the, in the water to create a kind of juice. Okay, so we're going to carry on roasting. Hold on. Right, another 10 minutes. So this that will be 34. This is 50, this is be the, the if I do the full 10 minutes, this will add up to 50 minutes. Um, but that roasted vegetables were perfect. I absolutely read they look fantastic. They look just like roasted veg um, out of the oven, if not better. So here we go, another 10 minutes with water added. Hi everybody. I've eaten my dinner and I'm um, I'm actually in my comfies, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be showing me because it's comfies, not not well, you know, comfortable clothing. <laughs> anyway, the caster wheels. Six of you in the um, midweek roast uh, video said you'd like to have them have them, so you kind of mentioned that in the comments. Um, I've got you here. You, oh, let me just, and I'm going to kick to spin. So, where is the thingy? Oh yeah, here we go. All right. Hey, Julia, Julia Williams, Julia. I'll message you. Ooh. <laughs> I'll message you on YouTube um, and you can just uh, email me your um, postal address. Okay, that's fab. So, yeah, I'm watching YouTube. It's all very dark in here, but I, I have a lamp. Um, but it's nice to relax in. Take care, everybody. Um, and the video should be carrying on now. The um... Oh, look, there's Rosie. <laughs> She's just had her dinner. Okay, everybody. See you in a bit. So I'm just going to add another 100 ml water to um, to it. Let's have a look. It's coming along. It's the carrots I'm really waiting to cook. I mean, they're nearly cooked. We'll be whizzing uh, this very soon. Smells fantastic. So let's keep on roasting. Nearly there. So I've got just under one minute to go and I'm going to hand whisk it now. So let's have a look. Mmm, smells beautiful. Now I, I haven't hand, used the hand blender in uh, the Ninja, um, but I'm looking at the blades, I'm a, or the blade, I'm 100% sure that's not going to touch, any, you know, the sides and scratch it. So here goes. Ooh. You can watch. Oh. Let's have a look. And a bit more water. Right, let's have a mix. That was another 100 ml. Um, the recipe stroke um, cost breakdown will be at the end. Definitely add a bit more water. Can't wait to taste it. It smells really nice. So makes, this is, I'm basically going to freeze this in, um, uh, oh, what do you call them? Containers? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> to put in the freezer for lunches, but I will have a taste test. I'm, it's rustic. So I'm, I, I don't want it to be completely smooth, but it, you know, if you ever, if you had a go, that would be completely up to you if you wanted to blend it to its, to, you know, fully smooth. Well, I'm going to have a taste test because. Mm. Wow. 
right. Oh, that is delicious. There's a little kick with the mustard powder. So that would be optional if you didn't fancy a kick. But the kick is nice. The carrots could do with a little bit longer. So I'm going to actually cook it for a... With at blended and hopefully the carrots because there's a crunch. You might like that. I might like that. But I think I will try and um, cook it for a little bit longer so the carrots are fully cooked. Really lovely. Let me have another taste. The roastedness, the roast, you know, the flavour of the roast, roasted veg is coming through. It's not just plain butternut squash. There's a definite, really nice, that caramelised kind of edges that you get with roasted veg. Mmm, that's really nice. I was planning to have this with sour cream, a little dollop of sour cream and the croutons. That's what it will end up looking like. But this will go in the freezer um, and be really handy to pull out for a lunch. Uh, so let's cook it for another five minutes and see what happens. See you in a minute. So an extra um, four or five minutes. I've just reset it then because it was on call for that bit where I am. Um, I'm going to do it on roast when I added a bit of extra water. So only five minutes. Get those carrots cooked they're just a slightly crunchy i maybe should have cut them a bit smaller i'll, I'll know that next time because the butternut squash cooks a lot faster than the carrots obviously yeah really pleased with that but i'll be back in a tick right oh well i was going to say plated up but containered up they are <laughs> So this is two good portions for a lunch or I suppose you could have it for dinner with um, sliced baguette, you know, buttered baguette or something like that. I'm going to have another taste test because it's actually really Moorish. I could um, I could eat this now. Mm. The sweetness of the onions coming through. That is really lovely. I'll definitely make this again. Thank you everybody for watching and thanks again Neil for your, for buying me a coffee really appreciate it and thank you Margaret for recommending this fantastic pepper meal I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to it because it's it's really brilliant and I'm gonna buy the salt one soon I'm gonna treat myself thanks everybody for all your lovely comments and um, I'll see you again soon if you have any ideas that you'd like me to try cooking I will I'll, let me know in the comments there are I've got plans more things are coming so um i'll see you soon take care bye